guys welcome back to my channel i did not do my bottom lashes hi guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm coming at you guys with a story time i know you guys have been waiting for a story time so finally i am taking out a story time i think this door is making a noise so i know guys i've just been rocking color wigs lately i'm going to stop soon i'm just enjoying myself for now because i don't know i just i feel cute i feel dolly Patton vibes you know but soon i'm gonna go back to black but i'm really enjoying this color and all the colors that i've been having on anyway today guys i'm going to be telling you guys a story time basically i'm going to title it did i steal my friend's boyfriend right and i would like you guys to listen to the story and then tell me if i stole her boyfriend because i don't think i did a lot of people don't think i did but she thinks i did so i'd like to gain some clarity and yeah i'm gonna make a disclaimer i was not completely right in the situation there's parts where i went wrong in the situation um but i did try to rectify them that does that's not an excuse for making the mistakes the fact that i rectified racked. the fact that i rectified my mistakes doesn't mean that it was okay for me to make them but i'm just saying that i'm aware that i was not completely innocent in this whole thing right yeah please like comment and subscribe and tune in to this story because wowza okay so Mm, look at that Ooh, anyway so my thing is the reason why i'm so nervous to tell the story is because of all the backlash i've received can i backlash because i think i think with everybody that knows the story with everybody that was present a lot of people were like against me for some time until like i explained my side of the story and then people were like oh is that what happened but i think with some people that haven't heard my side of the story i still like mm, you know but not that i care or anything but yeah um so this is basically how i met my current boyfriend of which i've been promising to tell you guys i told you guys it was lit i told you guys that how we met um came with a lot of drama and yeah please stay tuned let me stop the story let me just stop talking let me start the story okay guys set scene it's 2018 um march may one of those months that's out in m and i think it was may i think it was like towards i think it was may i don't know but 2018 those months that starts with an m okay um Yo, of course, I need to make that disclaimer that if you feel like you are part of this story, you are not. If you feel like I am talking about you, I'm not. Um, Paddy, sorry. So yeah, this one day, um, my so my friends um, are from the East Rand. Abo Michaela, Abo Sandra Sita, they are all from the East Rand, right? Uh, I'm from the South. Okay, me and Sandra Sita are from the South. Sandra and Michaela are from the East. My friends from the East we lived in a four bedroom flat right we lived in a four bedroom flat i was the only one from the south the other three girls were from the east right cool so there was this famous car group from the east that everybody liked i'm gonna call them nice cars so nice cars had an event in bram this one time they had an event in bram so obviously the girls from the east ran know about them so they're like oh my god nice cars is coming to bram oh my god oh my god you know and my friend the other one was studying the other roommate was studying remember the three of them are from the east Rand, so they know nice cars the one is studying 
the one had her boyfriend over current boyfriend keep in mind had her current boyfriend over and i didn't know this car group and i was tired so i was just like i go dog she left she went to this um event so we have a thing that if listen you go out and you decide that you don't want to sleep at home let us know you know let us not be worried Uguti, where are you just tell us Uguti, okay guys listen i'm going home with this guy i really like him here this is his name we are going here right cool so she came home that night later on i think like around midnight past midnight she comes into my room and she's like listen i'm going home with this guy um he stays in the east Rand. we are going home with him then we'll come back tomorrow I'm like i cool what's his name we have to name him Nkaba, because apparently they say hey guys yo apparently that guy like when you look at him there you you wouldn't think that you know he's good in the things you know you just be like oh look guy but apparently when things happen he takes his Nkaba and he puts it aside and he does things so we'll call him Nkaba. Umkaba is like no, I'm going home with Umkaba, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm like I don't know this Umkaba, but she gave the number to Michaela, so Michaela had Umkaba's number, so we know if anything happens to her, who she's with. Like, I right, babes, have fun, we sleep. In the morning, she wakes us up. She calls us. She's like, hey, do you guys want a drink? She knows we're never gonna say no to that. She knows for a fact we are going to say yes. She knew for a fact that we always want to drink. She knew for a fact that we're never gonna say no to alcohol. So she's like, hey, do you guys want a drink? We're like, yeah. She's like, I'm coming to fetch you guys. We're like, oh, okay. She comes, comes in, because it's her flat as well. She comes in, she also changes, like, guys, let's go. Hey, I look cute. I don't know why, but like, I looked cute that day. We get in the car, and it's a big car, man. It's a big black Audi. And I didn't even know that Audi, like, makes SUVs at that time. I thought, like, you know, so I was like, oh, this is nice. We get in the car, we get in the back. When we get in the back, there's two guys sitting in front. Okay, cool. Um, the guy driving, he's nice, he's muscular, you know, has a beard. We'll call him Chebe. Chebe has a beard. Passenger seat, we'll call him yellow bone because he's light skinned. Passenger seat, yellow bone is sitting there and they're playing R. Kelly, right? And I don't know what this song was. Okay, so we get in the car, we tweet. So I don't know what the song was that was playing and it had like F U blah 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 blah. But like oh guy, oh yellow bone was singing it with such determination that it felt like he was singing it to us. So he's like, Yeah, fuck I'm like you too, bruh. Like it it was ish, it was spontaneous. It wasn't it was it was what is what is that word? It deliberate what's the difference of what's the opposite of deliberate? unintentional it was unintentional so i was like hi you too and then that's when conversation started in the car and like we started talking oh i'm this one i'm this one whatever whatever so i see ukai unchebe the driver keeps like looking at me on the mirror uh, and clips and i'm just like cool we get to wherever we're going it's a vibe guys right it's a vibe we say so the previous night everybody was at the party it's just us that went at the party so it's um ilala vuga basically it's the next day people are still drinking people are still having fun people are talking about last night like it's a vibe yeah, well, they catching us up on last night because we went there everything is nice everything is nice hey i start starving he has uh developed a like for me yeah, well, I see Uncheve man is sundazing himself. He's starting to talk to me. And I'm just like, okay. You know? I Okay, cool. Eventually, Vele, he puts his ndaba straight. Because, no, bro, I like you. Um, I think you're really cute. And I'd like to get to know you. I'm like, I don't think you bad yourself, sir. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, we exchange numbers. But we still continue talking. And everything is nice. Okay, cool. So, remember my friend will call her tiny because she was tinier than me that's really tiny who tiny came here with who mkaba these are mkaba's friends right mkaba's here as well we're all chilling but oh yellow bone i don't know if you guys are catching oh yellow bone and oh 
Nchebe, um, Kaba's friends, right? Me and Michaela are Tiny's friends. Sisangani, who met us in the middle, who divided us, what's that word, who combined us is Tiny and Mkaba. Ne? Grand. Okay, the evening comes. We have to leave now. We're not going to sleep here, right? We have to leave now. It's we have to leave now. It's evening. Mm, mm. Um, and Jeb is like, yeah, no, I had promised to drop you guys, so I'm definitely gonna drop you guys. So like, okay, cool. He takes us to Bram. We get to Bram. So Umikela now is with Yellowbone. I am now with. Jebe. this is where we we're supposed to learn not to date in squads i think this is where we should have learned our lessons but we ignored all the red flags even recently we we're dating in squad you know what anyway something is wrong with my eyelash like i can see it but when i touch it it feels like it's there anyway okay cool we get to bram other guys are calling oh no we arrived safely are you guys still fine? You know, they're checking up on their newfound girls, which is what guys are supposed to do. Huh? Umkaba. Tiny slept over at Umkaba's place, I need. But Umkaba, when we left, he didn't even take her number. So it was like, it told me a skis, you know, type of thing. And she also didn't, like, you know, take it to heart. She was just like, ah, these things happen. I was like, yes, soldier. Yes, girl. She's like, ah, these things happen. Okay, fine. The following Friday, ooh, Yellow Bone and Michaela are supposed to go on a date, right? So these people talk every day, right? They they are developing something serious. And then Tiny is like to Yellow Bone, listen, I hooked you up with Michaela. I hooked you up with my friend, and your friend didn't even have the decency to take my number. So it is now your duty to find me a man because I want a man too. Excuse me. Yellow bone is like, oh, dog, I got you. I got you. I have a friend. Um, okay, he described him with his profession. So I'll say mechanic because I can't say his profession. I can't. He's like, yeah, he's a mechanic and he's very good looking. He's tall. He drives this car um, and he just got out of a serious relationship. And surely, lo and behold, Tiny's like, hook me up, dog. Sharp, Ty, um, yellow bone is like, okay, Friday, when I go on my date with Michaela, we will go together. It will be a double date. Oh, uh, surely, surely. Figure it Friday. The girls, the city girls were up. The girls were ready. So I wasn't going on the date. Um, Unchebu was coming to see me. So I then did the girls' makeup, helped to choose their outfits, you know, like I was within making sure everybody's happy. Everybody must find their one, you know, because I really thought with Uncheba I found my one. I was like, everybody must be as happy as I am. Surely me and Michaela can't be the only ones happy. Tiny also has to join in on the happiness so that it's quite happiness, you know? Okay, I Saturday comes. I do their Friday, sorry. I do their makeup. The girls looked cute. I check their outfits, everything. I haven't bathed. I was gonna bath in the evening. Please keep this in mind. I haven't bathed. I don't have a wig on. I have cornrows. I have braids. I look ugly. You know what I say? I look ugly. I'm in a gown. I was wearing a pink gown. I remember. I'm in a gown. I don't even think my socks were matching. I was wearing slippers with socks that weren't matching, pajama pants, and a gown. Like, I didn't care about life because my boyfriend, my man, is coming later, right? Okay. The guys call and they're like, oh, we're downstairs. I'm like, girls, your mans are downstairs. The girls are still pushonking. I'm like, guys, let's go. These people are waiting for you guys. Let's go. I get you guys one man. Let's go to men. Okay. Me being me, I'm like, yes, I want to see this mechanic. I want to see this mechanic. I get they said he's handsome. I want to see this handsomeness that they were talking about. So I go downstairs with the girls. So they were parked opposite the, the road and it was like a busy road. So the girls were still, I'm not scared of cars. The girls were still waiting for the road to be clear. I was like, listen, I'm trying to get rough right now. I'm trying to get 
road accident fund so if they bump me that's my luck so i just walked across the road i do not condone it don't do it and when i got to the other side of the road the girls were still behind me so i got to the guys first so i'm like oh hi and because i know oh yellow bone already i'm like oh hi whatever whatever you guys must enjoy your date blah 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 mechanic comes and he's like hi i'm like hello he's like um i'm we'll call him mechanic i'm mechanic i'm like oh i'm oi and he's like oh nice to meet you I'm, girls eventually come i'm like all right i want these girls back by 12 you know when he has papela i'm just like yeah keep them safe don't do anything i wouldn't do i'm just being myself we laugh they leave i go back upstairs cool this is how we all met right hmm So now, fast forward, I am with Unchebe, Michaela is with Yellow Bone, Tiny is with Mechanic. Right. Now, the only official relationship in this trio was Michaela and Yellow Bone. They made it official that we are dating, we are exclusive, it's me and you. Me and Chebe, it was a situation ship. We did not make anything official. We did not make anything exclusive. It was literally a situation where I kept begging him, can we give this a title? And he wasn't ready for a title. Uh, and oh, Tiny and Mechanic never even spoke about it being official. It was just sleeping together. Basically, they were sleeping together. And that's okay, you know? Okay, so fast forward, only to find out that oh, Tiny was sleeping with other people as well. So we knew, we were friends, obviously we know this. But now, these people are in the same friendship group with her man's oh, mechanic. So mechanic had a problem with that. Mechanic, one day, confronts her on the phone and she's with us on some, yo guys, mechanic is going off on me. He found out that this and this and this and this and this and this. And we're like, tell him the truth. It was before him. And it literally was before him. That situation was before him. We're like, he'll understand, man. Just explain to him. She didn't. Right? We even have a saying amongst us now that let's Adela Dikela because she lied totally to Adela Dikela. So every time you lie, we'll be like, you're lying until it's Adela Dikela because hey, that girl lied that day. Okay, cool. Uh, fast forward. This, she feels really, really sad about it, right? She feels really sad about it. She calls him over to the flat to come and apologize properly. He comes through to the flat. Um, me and Michaela hide. So he doesn't see that we're in the flat, but we are listening in on their business. Um, we hide in the next room, but we can hear their conversation. And he wasn't having it, guys. He was literally like, I hear you, but hey, dog, I can't. Hey, I can't. Okay, cool he leaves um we console our friend that i told you know what it's whatever you know it's whatever I oh girl pulls up her socks she's like i'm not giving up i want my man back like garrett garrett babes she's like i'm gonna invite him for dinner she couldn't cook she's like michaela please cook and then i'm gonna invite him for dinner and then you can also invite ooh, yellow bone for dinner and then we can all have dinner together maybe he'll like forgive me like ah cool the girls make dinner they pushonk themselves they look cute because their mans are coming again my man isn't coming this time so i did not care about looking cute i was literally in a onesie and i did not care about life and the guys also the girls were still getting ready yeah boy? And the guys are like, we're downstairs. I'm like, hi guys, finish getting ready. Let me go fetch them. Because I don't care, you know. I'm like, I'm not going to look cute. You guys do your thing. Let me go fetch them. Cool. I go downstairs. I see ooh, yellow bone and mechanic. So when I get there, I greet yellow bone first, right? I hug him. And it was like a normal hug, you know, like a quick, hi, oi, sharp. I greet mechanic and the hug, man, the hug. I'm like... Am I am I overthinking this? But that hug, man, it was. You know those hugs, man, that are. And I'm just like. Which one is this one? What's going on? Like, okay, we go upstairs. I ignored it. 
like i ignored the fact that that hug was questionable um they signed into a building i'm you know guys you know me i'm here i'm busy trying to keep them conversation oh did you guys find parking easily oh no you guys should have parked down there when i'm here yeah here. we get upstairs the girls are ready um they chill in the living room and they are all talking as couples i go to my room and eventually when it's time to eat now i go outside and i go chill with them i'm eating with them and we're all talking and everything and then i'm sitting here right and then it's the girls here and then it's the guys opposite me right the girls are here on the side and the conversation is flowing the conversation is nice hi oh mechanic is like so oi where in the eastern cape are you from i'm like no my mom is from no, but my dad is from Etudua, whatever 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 and it's like oh how long have you lived in Joburg? i'm like no since 2008 Blah, 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 was it 2008? I'm lying. It wasn't 2008. It was way before that. 2006, maybe. And I was in 2006. Blah, 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 blah. So he's like, oh, yeah, no, I've been in the Eastern Cape. I've been to Alwell North. I'm like, ah, oh, that's not Eastern Cape. That's basically Bloemfontein, you know? I remember this conversation because after... I almost said her real name. After Michaela dished up. I took the plate to remember we had a fourth roommate so she was in her room studying so i took the plate to her when i get to her i'm like oh here's your plate babes she's like oh are you aware that mechanic is flirting with you i'm like flirting she's like yeah mechanic is flirting with you i'm like i really i, I did not notice that she's like no in the conversation i can literally hear that you are not aware that he's flirting with you but i can hear that he's flirting with you and i'm in the room I'm like, eh, okay. When I go back to the side, I make sure that I avoid conversations with him. Like, what, whatever question he asks, I, like, answer it and then talk to the other ones. Like, maybe he'd ask something and then I would answer him and then ask, yeah, so, when I, what do you think to the other people so that we are all in the conversation? So that if he's flirting with me, rather he flirts with us all. My baby flirts with us all. My baby flirts with us So, okay, I go back. I'm chilling. Now I'm like counting my words because i'm like i'm not one to flirt with my friends man you know i'm just like hey, i <laughs> i don't know what to do and it would be rude of me to just go back into the room now that i've eaten you know so i'm chilling there and shame i think he he got the picture and he stopped asking me questions and then we're all just chatting amongst ourselves okay this is the apology dinner she's ooh, tiny is apologizing to her man so okay cool they leave right when they leave the conversation starts now oi did you see that mechanic was flirting with you i'm like guys when i went into the room they told me i did not see it they're like no we can we were aware that when you were being yourself like we know you we we're aware that you don't even know that but he was legit flirting with you i'm like hi right, girls i really did not see it hey oh tiny then goes to her man she's like mechanic you are you aware that you're flirting with oi guys please listen to what this man said please brace yourself for what this man said she's like are you aware that you're flirting with oi he's like oh really oh no my bad give me her number so i can apologize guess what your girl did she gave him my number now i'm chilling in my room i get a message so you know iphone it tells you the name like when your phone is locked it tells you who it is that's texting you so i see mechanic hi oi i'm sorry i um tiny was telling me that i was apparently flirting with you so i'd like to apologize in case i got you into trouble with the girls keep in mind i did not notice i only realize it now that i'm in a relationship with him that you you planned this he said i'm sorry if i got you into trouble with the girls he didn't say i'm sorry for flirting with you he said i'm sorry i got you into trouble if i got you into trouble with the girls and i respond i'm like oh no you didn't um it's okay don't worry about it he's like okay cool and shame he didn't pester me he didn't try to like make further conversations he kept quiet and he'd only like comment on my statuses once in a while type of thing and then 
as time goes by me and unchebe fall out because he doesn't want to give us a title and i'm literally desperate for a title you know guys when you start sending why are we text that was me like i'm desperate for a title because i like this guy but he doesn't seem to like me back you know uh we fall out i break up with him that i'm like no we can't see each other anymore because you're not serious and i really like you blah 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 blah, blah. cool and then this one day it was like a tuesday or a monday me and tiny are sitting in the living room and we're just drinking chilling and then i get a text from mechanic mechanic texts me and he's like hey what are you doing this saturday i'm like so i look at it and i show tiny i'm like yo dog your man your man's texting me she reads it she's like what if Unchebe is planning something to make you guys official because Unchebe and mechanic were like acquaintances right like what if it's planning to make it official i'm like but then why would he ask mechanic instead of yellow bone because he's closer to yellow bone i said like, i don't know but think about it i'm like hmm you know guys when you're desperate for a certain thing you could believe a lot of the like for example when you like like a guy you could he could open the door for you and you think oh my gosh he likes me back and he opens the door for everyone so i was like hey this could be it i've been waiting for this for how many months i'm like hmm okay i go to our other roommates i tell her the situation that hey my nails mechanic texted me she's like oh what did he say i show her the text and she's like there is no way on god's green earth that unchebe asked this man to plan something with you after he flirted with you the last time oisa open your eyes open your eyes there is no way i'm like mm, you could be right but what if you're wrong what if you're wrong what if unchebe has this beautiful surprise helicopter rise you know i'm like She's like, okay, if that's what you believe, but I'm telling you that there's no way that Unchebe planned something. I'm like, I right, cool. I'm like, okay, you know what? Tomorrow I'm gonna buy alcohol. I'm gonna get tiny drunk and see if she really wants me to go. Guys, I know this is stupid. Like now that I'm talking about it, and like whenever I talk about it, when I tell people about it, they're always like, really, really. I'm also like, really, but like in the situation, I was like, hmm. Unchebe, it has to be. It has to be. I bought her alcohol, I got her drunk, and when she's drunk, I'm like, dog, do you really want me to go to this thing Saturday? She's like, yeah, show me, go. Unchebe, you've been waiting on Unchebe to, like, make things official, so you have to, you have to. I'm like, okay, no, no, no. Definitely. I figure it's Saturday. So on the Friday, she went home. Ooh, tiny. So I was in the flat with our other roommate. I didn't name her. box i'll call her box because her name has something to do with the box her nickname has something to do with the box so it was me and box in the house and i'm updating her and everything i'm like you know he just called me he's like um i must get ready blah 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 blah, blah. so so i need you guys to concentrate on this part this part is important Ooh, Michaela is dating Yellow Bone. Yellow Bone lives with, is roommates with Mechanic. So do you understand? Yellow Bone and Mechanic live together. My friend Michaela is dating Yellow Bone. I hope you guys got that. So now, Friday, when Tiny went home, Michaela went to her man's house for the weekend. So Michaela is where mechanic stays it's mechanic where mechanic stays do you guys get it so he comes to fetch me and oh no so before he fetched me shuguti he called yellow bone and was like dog please call oi and tell her that i'm 30 minutes late so yellow bone then asked me kayla to tell me so to me it was like ah oh, if my friend is involved then there's no dodgy business my friend would never allow me to shy my other friend with a brick you know so to me it seemed legit i even told 
o tiny that oh michaela just texted me so she's part of this so surely it's all clean business right i go to the room to box i'm like dog listen o michaela just called me and she says o ban ban is going to be late so she, if she's part of this it could not be any dodgy business she's like oh you are so desperate for this situation to be what you want it to be that you are overlooking all the red flags but go go baby girl go i'm like i'm sad i'm going looking this cute i even opened a new wig that day opened a new wig i did the things i was ready i was the girl he comes when he comes we get into the car when we get into the car I, we're driving i'm updating tiny her her his girl his girl and everything i'm updating her i'm like yeah we're on the freeway now uh yeah we just stopped at the garage now yeah this is this 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 yeah we're passing the toll gate now because when you go to the east you have to pass the toll gate i know it's weird so okay <clears throat> in the car he's like so oi <laughs> what kind of guys do you like i'm like oh i start describing who am i describing Njebe. because what am i thinking we are going to Njebe. so i have to describe Njebe so that you know he's not demotivated because in my head legit we're going to Njebe for this surprise so i start describing Njebe. i'm like oh i like i like i like i like i like he's like mm. keeps quiet he's like excuse me he's like do you want to know what kind of girls i like i'm like sure starts describing starts describing starts describing as he's describing i'm like i'm deep muscle <laughs> i'm like that's me but i keep quiet i'm like mm. take out my phone i'm like yay the conversation in the car chom she's like what's going on i'm like i'll send you a voice note i'll send you a voice note later she's like okay cool he's like okay so we're gonna stop at my place quickly and we're gonna pick up michaela and yellow bone i'm like okay cool when we stop at his place michaela's like girl chum can you please do my makeup so we go into the room the guys are sitting in the living room we, are, we go into the room so i can do our makeup when we get into the room i take out my phone i make voice notes to tiny i'm like yo brah he asked me this he asked me this i'm like dog i really think this guy wants me stops responding guys when i tell you that's the last response i, I like that's the last time we had a conversation oh man she never responded from that day like she stopped responding after my voice note, she listened to my voice note so you know i couldn't believe it. i was in disbelief i was like no man you know when you're listening to a voice note and your phone switches off mid voice note type of thing you know or maybe a call comes in while you're listening to the voice note so you don't have a chance to respond you know like i was duting myself i'm like i'm like to michaela dog she stopped responding michaela's like okay let me text her michaela texts her also blue tick we're like okay no she's definitely ignoring us then i'm like i sent her a text i'm like chomi trust me i'm like chomi trust me blue tick i'm like what's going on i go into the living room i'm like um mechanic uh please take me home I don't think Tiny is comfortable with me being here. Mechanic is like, no man, we're gonna have fun, relax. Let's just go and then I'll take you home after. I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. We go to Carnival City and we go drag racing. It was fun, I won't lie. It was fun. We go drag racing. After drag racing, he's like, okay, so we're going bowling. So it's a double date now. We're going bowling. I'm like, oh my God, I can't. I have to go home because my friend is not comfortable with me being here. He's like, I'll take you home after the bowling, I promise. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I take out my phone and I call my other friend. Remember the friend that in the Durban story time that gave us Anya Nisi and sausage and everything and an Oros in our bottle who saved us? I called her. I forgot what I named her. I called her. I'm like, bro, listen, I am in this situation right now. I'm going to need you to call me and I'm going to pass the phone to mechanic and I'm going to say I have an emergency in Bram that I need to attend to now. Right? I mean, you're going to say that I need to attend to an emergency in Bram. She's like, I got you, Choma, I got you. She calls Vela. I give the phone to him. 
she's like yeah there's an emergency in bram i need to get into all these flats to fish whatever this man is like oh no box is in the flat right now you can call her she'll let you in should we give you her number i'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god it's fine i almost saw okay cool i call away we go bowling i won't lie guys i had so much fun i had a lot of fun on that date but i couldn't really express it because my friend guys my friend you know and i don't know i felt really bad about him liking me instead of liking her you know after the bowling he's like hey let's go out for drinks i'm like dog i really need to go I, he's like okay one drink and i'll take you home and that place at uh what's this thing what's this carnival that place has one liter savannas but where would you get a one liter savannah that's where they got me i'm like okay one and then you're taking me home we get to the bar and we're chilling and so yellow bone is a smoker so he's like okay guys i'm gonna go out for a smoke and then his baby girl michaela cuppered him they live together so it's just me and mechanic now mechanic is like yeah so i think you deserve to know why you're really here i'm like please please he's like okay well the truth is i like you i've liked you since day one i've liked you since that day when i saw you. i'm like i was so ugly i wasn't even looking cute what do you mean he's like i liked your personality i really liked you i even said to yellow bone that why didn't he take me on a blind date with you why did he take me on a blind date with your friend I, i'm like okay that is so cute like it's cute um i'm charmed i'm really flattered but my issue is there now why did you continue things with tiny after that why after you saw me and you liked me did you continue things with tiny because now we would be having a different story but now that my friend is involved and she really likes you i can't do her like that right and i'm also with untebe and young moshe Laman, you are ruining things for me and Tebe. like what must can happen and he's like yeah i really like you um i just did not know how to approach you. and because you're with untebe i couldn't really do anything but now that i heard you guys are not okay i thought this could be my chance i'm like i hear you i hear you and it's so sweet like it's sweet my issue is my friend who trusts me and now you coming to tell me that you like me what must happen with my friend should i just tell my friend i thought your man likes me so it is what it is like what must happen you know i really value my friendship and i don't think i can do my friend dirty like that he's like oh okay cool he's like okay i'll take you home but can we just continue chilling and stuff he's like okay cool we chill 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 shop fast forward when i get home to bram when i get to bram I sent him a message. I'm like, listen, I had a good time today. It was really fun, but I don't think he can go any further because Utaini is my friend and I wouldn't want to do her dirty like that. I will have to block you. I block him. I continue with life. So what this man did, he sent a voice note to Yellowbone. I think they were sitting together even when he made that voice note because he knew Yellowbone was gonna send it to Michaela and Michaela was gonna make me listen to that voice note. So he said a voice note about how much he likes me and he can't believe I'm blocking him. Blah blah. I'm like, ooh, come on, go to manipulate that man. Who is he manipulating? I'm like, mm. I listened to that voice note. I commented with my friend. We laughed about it. I didn't unblock him. Cool. Fast forward two months later no actually the same man so yo guys drama immediately after i sent utaini that voice note that yo bra i think this guy likes me she called our landlord and put in notice to move out because she's like she can't live with such a person such a person is me she can't live with such a person she put in this same time so she was moving out of the flat where was she moving back home where is home the east end where is she schooling uj so she didn't care how she's gonna get to school as long as she's out of my face please tell me please tell me i okay um two weeks later she's moving out now yo guys when i tell you i begged that girl i think for two weeks i kept sending her a message every day 
but I'm so sorry to him about what happened. I blocked him. I even sent her like screenshots. I blocked him. I want nothing to do with him. Like I really value our friendship, you know? She didn't want to hear anything. And I understood why she was mad, you know? But I think she was mad at the wrong person, but I, I got it. Like I got it. You know, when you're in such a situation, emotions flood logic, you understand? So I got it. And I I knew that if I was in her shoes, I would want to see that you're really apologetic. So that's what I was trying to do. Like I apologized every day. I sent her messages every day. Oh, never again. I sent her messages every day. Cool. Two weeks later, she comes. And when she comes, she's coming to move out. She's coming to fetch her things. She comes and we talk and we forgive each other. So we decided since she's moving out, once you put in your notice, you can't really move back. Even if you fix things, you are gone. So we decided to make a farewell party for her, guys. We did not, we took our grocery money and went to go buy alcohol. We did not eat that month because we're doing farewell party for time. We went and bought her drinks. We went and bought her mapuzlao. And we don't even drink mapuzlao. When we drink, we drink savannah. But we decided, you know what, to make her feel special, let's buy her mapazal. And we went to go buy mapazal. Okay, we buy mapazal. She comes through, we do a farewell party, but it's just the three of us. It's me, her, and Michaela. And we're talking and stuff. So remember, Michaela is still dating who? Yellowbone. Yellowbone lives with who? Mechanic. Mechanic, the one who broke our friendship. She called, he, or, uh, um, Yellowbone calls his girlfriend to just check up on her. Video calls her and they're talking and um mechanic comes into the call oh he's like hi michaela and they start talking and me and michaela are going uh, me and what you call what's this girl's name tiny me and tiny are going in on some yeah he thought he could break this friendship who does he think he is oh my gosh he did not succeed we're still friends no guy will come between this friendship i still just touch on this way indoor that tina we are strong friendship who the heck does he think he's bitter now he's so bitter hey in in in, in. he's so bitter guys you know what i say we went in on my boyfriend like i feel bad now but anyway you know what i say we went in on mechanic we went in cool i the following week is Michaela's birthday. Michaela was having was hosting her birthday at Rockets. Okay, cool. The Friday come, sadly, um, my aunt passes away, so I have to go home to the Eastern Cape. I can't I can't attend their birthday. So I go home, but who is there? Tiny. Tiny's at the birthday. I know you guys are hating him right now. I also did. Trust me, there's nobody that I do not want to see like that man. But yeah, um, this is part one. I'm going to do a part two because I feel like the story is really long. It's really it's my favorite party story. It's my favorite how we met story. But I'm not proud of it, guys. I know I went wrong. I know I was really wrong earlier. The end, I wasn't wrong. The end, I was not wrong. But you guys are going to hear the rest of it. Let me stop. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please don't drag my boyfriend too much. Please don't drag him. I feel like we all make mistakes in life. He made his. I made mine. And yeah.